1440 or uh, 4K right now. I had to switch memory cards. We went over to the, or we went back to the original memory card that I used to use the uh, SanDisk um, ex uh, Extreme Pro, I believe it is. Um, now there is an Extreme Pro, Extreme Pro Black that I bought. Two of them. I know they were bootleg when I got them. I'll show you in a little bit. But uh, as soon as I started filming with it, um, I got a card error. Also, I had to change the container that we put it on because the one that I bought, it's got a nice warm feel to it. You know, it's rubberized. But the GoPro just fits too tight in there, so it scratches it in, going in and out. And, you know, that defeats the whole purpose of getting a new machine. <laughs> Before when I was at the house and I tried to do 2.7K, it, uh, I don't know, it was all like blown out, you know? Let me see if I can go back to the other settings. Yeah, I think I can still while I'm recording. Well, maybe. We'll see. All right, so I see what it does. Um, you have to get out of recording mode to get back into your uh, settings, but that's okay. But uh, So anyway, let's just look around a little bit here. And, um, so this is with all manual settings, manual white balance and everything. I know the sun is blaring in in a bad spot, but um, I don't know. I'm going to look at it back in the studio and then, uh, and then maybe tomorrow I'll do another shoot and I'll go on full auto. Um, I love my manual settings. Uh, but then again, in the later years when they started to come out with Mini DV, the cameras were so good on automatic. I mean, they were so good. You very rarely had to, you know, tweak it and go to manual. Well, let's go get some water. I'll tell you what, definitely one of the fun things about that quick app is you can use your phone as a remote shutter. So I have the GoPro mounted over there and I can start it and stop it from over here. And that's kind of cool saves you that little walk back and forth every time. Alright, so I got three jugs of water we're going to fill up. That's 50 cents a piece. Alright, let's sign off for a second. This is one of my favorite places to come in Port St. Lucie to get the filtered water. Check it out. 30 cents. That's how much it costs for a gallon. Let's pop it in and see what it says. 
25 cent credit. It used to be only a quarter. 25 cent credit. All right, and you get your water bottle. Pop it in there. I like to take the top off and then kind of line it up like that. Try to grab it before it spills all over the place. But there it goes, juggle of love. Now I filled it right up to here. So that is 50 cents worth of water. Tell me that I'm not getting robbed right now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do ditto for the next two. Loaded up. So up, I should say, we're loading them up now. I couldn't load them up to strike you. You're more shopping. 